And so over to you for teaching English through a movie, and do let me know when you want me to show the movie of the song. Hi, Neil. Hi, everybody. Thanks for the, the great support, and happy anniversary for the International House. My idea today um, is teaching English through a movie. I personally believe that uh, teaching should be fun. You can teach morals, messages through movies, through touching stories, and by choosing, you know, uh, choosing a, a nice story with a with a hidden message in it. Uh, I've used uh, the uh, the movie I'm uh, I'm presenting <clears throat> last year. Uh, during summer school classes with uh, teenagers. Uh, it's funny today because we've seen lots of animals and I'm finishing with <laughs> Happy Feet Mamble, the penguin. So uh, the uh, what really uh, I liked about the movie and I like to and the reason behind using it in the classroom is because it's multi-dimensional. You can exploit it in so many uh, ways. Uh, you can do a GIST activity uh, just after the students finish watching the movie and everything, you're going to give them a worksheet, which I included here. Um, I don't know how I press that to... Um, Neil, if you can help. Yeah, so that's what I, I said. It's, it should be fun. You can, you can just teach them morals through a touching story with a message in it. And uh, the uh, next slide uh, is about a GIST activity. Of course, probably it depends on your classes, the levels. Uh, you should um, kind of pre-teach some of the vocabulary, uh, grade your, uh, your vocabulary, your language, and the students can work in groups. You can give them handouts, and they can just, after watching the movie, just uh, say if the statements are true or false. It depends on the story. Uh, uh, which went well with my students. Uh, I was a bit surprised because I was a bit scared. Uh, I, I was not sure about their level and everything. Uh, the next activity I've used was a listening activity. Of course, here I put only a slide if we can uh, put it through. Uh, the third one, Neil. Uh, the next one. Yeah, uh, next one, sorry. Yeah, that's the gist activity with the true and false sentences. The listening activity here, I only put a single one, but of course, if you know the level of your students and you've got uh, different different levels and mixed abilities and things, and so mixed class abilities, you can adapt the, the slides and you can adapt the gaps to the levels you can give one different hand, one hand out to the uh, high achievers, one hand out to the middle achievers, and one to the low achievers with single words missing or something like that. So uh, that was the song. Uh, so they can listen to the song uh, uh, Somebody to Love from the movie and uh, uh, enjoy it if you can play it. So. Uh, <clears throat>
So basically after that, you can just add another activity as a summarizing activity to help the students to write. You can give them uh, the, the next slide uh, shows scenes of the uh, of the movie and they can, of course, the, the size here is so small to fit just the slides, but you can blow them up and just print them out and give them in two sets to two different groups so they order them and they write few sentences to describe each sentence and with, with these sentences they can write a summary to the movie so you get them into writing but through a, a kind of a funny enjoyable and motiva uh, motivating uh, kind of um, activity as well so uh, that can pave also the uh, the the way to a speaking activity while they discuss the moral behind the story they discuss what 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 are the topics the movie raise like pollution um, animals and birds uh, facing the danger of extinction and these things also the idea of differences and being tolerant because Mumble couldn't sing okay who could he could only tap dance okay and he was like out of caste but we are all weird and wonderful we can be different but still our difference can make a difference and can save the world like Memble did uh, at the end of the activity probably uh, I would have loved to have done it okay with my students but uh, in, as I said in my slide in this part of the world it's not politically correct so so basically, in the DVD I've used, the original DVD I've used in the classroom, there was the uh, the tap dancer who was behind the uh, the making off of Memble Dance, uh, Savian Glover, and there is a kind of uh, uh, there is a kind of a video there in the movie that shows the creation of the CGI, and uh, you can just uh, just enjoy um, in the classroom and try to just tap dance with your students as as kind of a as a kind of a ending to the the activity and um, so that's it i think um, i don't know i've, I've finished